Today's lesson is about manipulating the viewport. So let's go ahead and get started. Hit General. First, let's save the project. We've got it saved up at the top. Now, I want to teach you how to add and delete an item. So first, just click on this cube. Make sure it's got this highlight around it. And then hit X on your keyboard. And that will delete it the quick way. Now we're going to add an item. So we could go up to the top and hit Add. And we have all these different options. You can also get the exact same screen by hitting Shift A. And that's a little keyboard shortcut for you. And let's just choose my favorite, Suzanne the monkey. She is adorable. So we've got Suzanne the monkey here. Go ahead and hit period on your numpad. And that will zoom it in. Or you can click view and frame selected. So that is how you add and delete an item. And now I want to show you the window customization. So go ahead and hit T on your keyboard and N for the information panel to get those to go away. And now take your mouse and go up to the top right corner or any of the corners in the box. And you should see your mouse turn from a normal mouse pointer to like a crosshair. Once you get the crosshair, just click and drag to the left. And then that will slide in a brand new window. And you can change this window into anything that you want. So that's how you can customize the different views. Let's go ahead and grab one up at the top right here and just pull down. And we can do it the same thing maybe in this corner. So having multiple views is helpful when you're designing something so you can see your, your project from multiple angles. And to see it from different views, click on this View tab, go to Viewport, and then do maybe Front. So now we can see the monkey right from the front, Suzanne here. And then on this one, maybe we want to see maybe the right side. And then this one down here, let's put it maybe to the top. Now we can see all different angles when we're designing stuff here. And if you accidentally make one in a window that you didn't mean to, or you want to get rid of a window, you just do a very similar thing, but in the opposite direction. So just click in the corner and then drag to the left. And you'll notice that there's an arrow that's appeared. And I can swing this to either side of the way that I want it to you know, collapse on. So I'm going to collapse it to the right here. Bloop, and now we're back. Another cool feature is you can have maybe your shading on on this one, on your perspective. And if you ever wanted to go full screen, whichever window that your mouse is above and you hit Control or Command Spacebar, that will just toggle you into a full screen mode. So that's a really cool way to toggle in and out of different views while you're working. And lastly, I wanted to show you the difference between orthographic and perspective. If So if I go to the front orthographic view, you can tell that it's very, very straight and flat. And I can toggle that to perspective mode. So notice when I click that button, this changes from orthographic to perspective. So you can tell that's what it would look like in perspective if you were, say, had it on a camera or just looking at it with your natural human eyes. But sometimes while we're designing, it's really helpful to go into orthographic view so you can see things a little bit more flat and a little more mathematically true. And so in the next lesson, we're going to be talking about how to move around, whether you're on a laptop, a big computer, a PC, a Mac. Uh, so yeah, let's get going.